What is architecture? Architecture is what I desperately try to do as a profession. And I think this uh, is um, what makes the answer to that question so difficult that um, of course it is many things and of course I don't know what exactly it is but if you want to call yourself architect you somehow have to find a way to do it in a professional way means you live out of architecture and not only for architecture um, but that in preferably the way that it's not just a profession. So it's maybe not an answer, but uh, I think this is the dance one has to, to do. So what can architecture do? Much more than what people think. And if I talk about people, or maybe much more and much less, um, uh, I think in the you can look at it um, in a very professional way again, and then uh, the framework of architecture is pretty well defined, especially when it comes to standard uh, uh, architectural like fields. Um, and I think in, in this uh, professional field, architecture is constantly uh, underestimated. Um, because architecture really changes life of people, really changes uh, ways uh, society functions, um, uh, psychological processes function, and we cannot be careful enough to um, think that, rethink that, um, trying to give answers without uh, being too defined, trying not to be too loose so that architecture does not provide anything. And then I have the feeling that outside of the professional world, world um, architecture is constantly overrated and uh, in, a, in a naive way, uh, a kind of the, the thing that is everything without then really being uh, um, given the also uh, the tasks and the Verantwortung, responsibility, responsibility uh, and the power to do so. So I think it's again an ambiguous field of, um, of different uh, expectations, too low, too high, and the truth is as always somehow in the middle. So how would you position yourself within the architectural discourse? Which discourse? Um, it may be very strange, but uh, yesterday there was this Putin um, talk in front of his public, and uh, two days ago there was this um, uh, there was this. Uh, Afro-American uh, like police issue and um, I think that this is two issues that show how much today everyone just is in his own cloud. No? So um, discourses are not really discourses between people who have different standpoints, but you can say there is micro discourses and each one tries to be somehow uh, within his set of references on the map. And I think this is kind of a sad um, thing because it does not provide um, real discourse, it just provides pos positioning. You know? And so of course, if you're a Swiss architect, people put you the Swiss label and uh, I couldn't care less, no, because I, 
I think HHF has nothing to do with Swissness, has nothing to do with uh, like uh, this course which is linked to uh, to um, a confined entity. Of course, we are in Basel. We try to contribute in our way to do projects to the society we know best, but still here um, uh, this positioning within the circles um, I think is, is a tiring and not so fruitful thing, so I prefer, of course then that is taken as a positioning, ah, that's those who try not to be and so, but you cannot escape that, but I think you can somehow try to just do what you think is good um, and uh, be like enough, have enough self-esteem not to do ugly things and not to do things just for the positioning and then on the other hand we all know that this is part of the game and so we play it. What is your design method? Um, we try to um, start always with the the fundamental question, you know, like which would be what can architect, what can we contribute to that topic. You know? So sometimes this is a lot, sometimes it's not not uh, a lot. And we try then to um, elaborate concepts that would uh, put a lot of weight on what we think is essential to achieve that overall, uh, like um, the the overall change of. Math I mean, it's it's always about changing. Uh, uh, geometricals, I mean, or let's say a, a built uh, a built condition, and and um, we try to do a maximum to to go to do that change we think is is the good one, without trying to do environments where everything then is according to that. So it has a lot to do with openness, with unfinishedness of things. Um, because again, if I come back to this uh, Putin talk, you know, I think if you're in a cloud and you think you know what all should be and that you're right, this is also the condition of designers, which maybe technically I even like, you know, these uh, brilliant designers who are able to do all out of one like uh, touch, but it is not the environment's I feel comfortable with. It's not the environments I think that are um, uh, really urban. It's not what I think is really stimulating because it is just an opinion and it's an opinion which is maybe strong and appreciated enough like a president and no one, you know, no one allows to think but I prefer that kind of chairs or I prefer this because there is kind of authority of design and this is a, a silencer of, uh, of real discussions and real discourse. So if I say our design method, um, and this has maybe basically to do that with Simon Frommwil and Thilo Herlach, we are three partners who um, have to live with the fact that two of the three maybe have a different opinion on a, a certain topic. So uh, we never try to have this one thing solves it all and everywhere you look at it's designed approach. Yeah. So the method is maybe to be strong in the core and to be loose in, in what we think is uh, okay, totally fine if um, Another architect then deals with that because that's his interest in our own projects. <laughs>